So, welcome back. Today I'm with Stereo Flux, and we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful ship of his, uh, featuring a prominent design uh, arc reactor. So here we are. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the ship? All right. Well, um, I'm going through a couple names for it right now, either yep. the Novalia or the Nova Omni. But um, this is kind of like my general build design for all of my ships. Is this external arc reactor? Yeah, yeah. No, it's cool. Uh, it's a cool thing to theme your ships on. Yeah, that and the, uh, the slanted wiggy bits, which are kind of a pain to make. Yeah, but, end but up looking good. Yeah, yeah, but actually, it's not so bad when you're putting them to get putting them down, is it? I've built lots of things like that, and it's yeah, it's not so bad. Yeah, you, this ship is think. a major, major work in progress. If you look on the side of the primary hole, it, how flat it is. Are you gonna wedge it? Hot. Are you gonna wedge it? Yes, everything. Oh, beautiful! I'll probably it'll look, it, it'll probably. worth wedging. Worth wedging. Because you set it up, it's perfect. It'll be flat down both sides. Which almost reminds me a little bit of that Wipeout Racer from Oricom. Oh god, I haven't heard from Wipeout in forever. Yeah. I love you for referencing that. Yeah, well, no, I, the big arms. I base, nice. I base the ship off a couple of things. Or even uh, Triacus from the latest Wipeout HD. They no, are, the, primary, the primary piece of inspiration for building this ship was actually the um, stall arc cruiser from Killzone 3. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's where I got the idea for the arc reactor. Yeah. The uh, the rear thrusters are kind of a bit of like a sort of a mass effect thing going on there because um, what are they called? The alien race. They have all their ships have those massive slanted wingy bits that have kind of the gap in between them. Mm. That's what I was thinking about there. Um, you want to come inside, come around to the back well, of the ship? Well, for the lineup reviews now, we are only looking at the hangar, engineering, mm -hmm. and your bridge. And I'll well, come, and I will come. Has, I will. Has basically nothing in it. So oh, oh okay. Moving. Well, hang on. Who is moving me? What is going? No, on? it's not. I don't know. There we go. I got bumped. All right. Um, so basically, I'm in your hangar. It's a very right. spacious hangar. Yeah, this ship, the interior, I have not worked on at all. Delmon is okay. actually going to be assisting Helping me you. with the inside later. Uh, Alright, very nice. So then what else have we got? We got... Alright, you yep. should see... I'm seeing you. You've just, right, what, you've through, just gone down up. You've just gone down the corridor. Yep, popping up in the hangar. Oh god. There we are. Hello. Welcome to the ship. <laughs> I'm not in that. Well, I am, but I was in, I'm in build mode. Uh, okay, well, if you come through here, you'll see uh, this hallway here is probably my favorite part of the entire ship because okay. you come into it, the very narrow corridor, on top of the fact when you're in between them, you can actually see inside the arc reactor going all the way down. And I actually did some detail work inside the arc reactor that I'm still working on. Uh, but if you go all the way down the hallway, it just opens up into this massive spacious area. Where you can see everything, and that's that itself right there is probably my favorite part of the whole ship. Hmm. Um, the bridge towards the very front. I decided to go with something a bit interesting for this one. If any of you are ever have ever seen or played, you know, Metroid Prime, if you know Phase On for Metroid Prime, how it's kind of blue and corrupts everything. Hmm. That's what I was going for with ice crystal look. Okay. Look at the yeah, bridge, yeah, I get that. I get it's that. It's like dripping over the side and it's breaking off of the bridge into the walls and it looks like it's spreading and corrupting. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool idea. Kind of taking over the ship. And so my whole background for that was, you know, the arc reactor uses this substance which I'm making the ice crystal and we're trying to contain it for an unlimited source of power, but here in the bridge it kind of broke off and is starting to corrupt the ship from the front to back. Uh, some things that I'm planning on the ship for the future, the massive pylons coming off of the front of the ship. Uh, going to line those completely with guns. This thing's going to be powerful, definitely a warship. Hmm. But, on the inside of those massive pylons coming off the front of the ship, I'm actually going to put vertical docking bays to dock oh, okay. small fighters. Yeah, that's interesting. So, what they do is they'll kind of undock off the middle, and then they come down and they fly off. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. And then where you are in the back there is going to be the docking bay for my arc dropper, which is still also a work in progress, but that's my uh, dropship. Nice. 
Uh, aside from that, this thing, in my single player build at, at least, I have a total of 16 turret hardpoints on here, and they're gonna be massive turrets. So are you, are, you, are you in the build block right now? That I am. Could you tell me how long it is, and what, you know, dimensions, just the dimensions? Current dimensions, uh, total mass, 25,691. 275,647 blocks, its length is 690 meters, height 87 meters, and width is 157 meters. Nice. What's the mass? The, the mass is 25,691. And then if you could just tell me your turning speed numbers, X, Y, Z, just numbers. Uh, turning speed, axis 1.1, or uh, X axis 1.1, Y axis 1.1, Z axis 1.0. Cool. It's not bad actually when you think about it. Oh yeah, for a ship this size. This is this is my lion ship right here until I uh, finish my dreadnought, but that's a shush right now. Well, the things that stick out to me obviously are uh, other than what I've already said. Uh, I like this diagonal line effect that you've got going on here. That's a cool pattern because it actually does look like it's underneath. Yeah, that took a while for me to perfect how it's kind of going forward, but at yeah. the same time diagonal. Yeah. That, that's it's an interesting tries, yeah, right? it's an interesting pattern. It's a nice little effect. Something else that may or may not interest whoever's watching and you. I built the arc reactor by hand. Very good, mate. Very good. That making circles like yeah, that yeah, by no, hand is difficult. That is by far the hardest thing I've ever done in this game. Oh yeah. That but... But doesn't it? It's a good process though, because you understand a little bit more about pixels. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I can recreate this it's like a hundred mm. times now, because I realize you know it's just keep it big and then make yeah. it smaller and smaller and smaller until it reaches the size, and then bigger, yeah. make it bigger until it reaches the top. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, so this is the uh, Lion Arc Arc Cruiser. Yep, and your name. Stereo Flux. Stereo Flux. Right, well, thanks again, mate, for coming along to this review, and uh, appreciate yeah, thank you, you coming reviewing. on TeamSpeak and joining me, because that makes all the difference. And yeah, I uh, can't wait to see this one in Approving Grounds, or something like that, or your latest ships. I guess, hey. Yeah, well, I'm here every so, day, so awesome. I'll be here. Uh, brilliant, I uh, can't wait, and yeah, thanks to everybody watching, see you next time.